Hello and welcome back. You may notice that everyone is in a slightly different place to last time. That is because we have been doing some levelling. So Dew is, has taken the Paragon Ring. He's been smacking Chagall over and over with, well, with that Iron Sword. And he levelled up a bit, but unfortunately Chagall's only level 10, so the amount to which you can do that is slightly limited. Also, uh, what else happened? Yeah, Ruckus has healed everybody and actually got to level 20, so I passed the Paragon Ring on. Um, yeah, well, what else did I do? Uh, I think Jamka sold the, uh, yeah, he sold the Night Slayer. Fairy picked that up. Don't think anything else happened. Arden... Oh yeah, Arden sold the Pursuit Ring and gave that to Ethlyn, and he's actually got 40,000 gold now, so I might actually get him to buy the Paragon Ring after after Dew's done with it, since he can actually afford it. Uh, anyway, now we're going to kill this guy. Kill it. Good thing is, uh, yeah, he has no ranged weapons, so Azel can quite literally do this for as long as. Oh, uh, never mind. Alright then. Midir, attack. Thanks, Midir. Okay, fine. So yeah, not getting much off this. There we go. And now, I think Dew is very much going to get a kill out of this. That is, of course, if he can hit. Yay. And just so you know, um, yes, he does have the, uh, the charm and leadership star boosts, which is kind of good. And he's also got to a level now where he won't die in one hit. Which is a good thing. Sylvia also gained a few levels, I guess. Die. Spare my life. Yeah, if it wasn't clear, he did, he did actually, uh, live there. So yeah, got the physics stuff. I can sell that and give it to someone else, I suppose. Speaking of... Aideen. I want you to warp Ruckusis all the way back to Evans. And there's a very good reason for that. Whee! 60, look at that. If we give her the Paragon Ring. Seriously, she just used warp ten times, gained ten levels, why don't you? Speaking of... Rakasis, you're level 20. You're about to be promoted. na 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 Oh yeah, she gets a horse. Yeah, plus seven, plus seven, plus four, plus seven. So, let's just go over that again. Plus seven strength, plus seven skill, plus four speed, plus seven defense. Those were her promotion gains. She's now the most defensive. She's the strongest, and the fastest member of our team. Someone else is also going to be promoting. Ethlyn actually went through the 
the arena a bit, and she actually got enough experience to get to level 20, which is kind of good. Na 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 etc. Ethelyn is now a paladin. Plus three skill, plus plus. Yeah, she gained a bit. She gained a bit in everything. So she's now quite competent, actually. She's better than Sigurd, to be honest. Look at that. 15 defense, 24 speed, 22 skill, 17 strength. It's not bad. So anyway, now we're going to go to the arena and just make sure that we're fit. We... Miracle Sword. So this is Herzog. Last time, we had absolutely no chance of beating him. Oh yeah, and since Ruxus is a Master Knight, she gains the Pursuit skill. Would I like to fight the next opponent? Yes, I would. Check off the Thunder Mage. Nice. More skill. Well, I suppose that's all she really needs now. Look at that. Yes, I would. Begin. This guy has a 25% chance to hit. You, yeah, finally. Thought that was going to go bad for a second, but yeah. So yeah, Ruckusis could now afford to buy the Paladin... The, not the Paladin ring, what's it called? The uh, Paragon ring back if you want to. Now nah, she can't, but... She's now fairly loaded. Nice doing business with ya. I should say it is, I should say it is. Oh yeah, I think she also has A rank stuff now. She has A rank everything. Except light magic. Because then she'd be able to buy Deidre's aura, and we wouldn't want that, would we? Oh yeah, and Ethelyn, you're going to finish up in the arena as well. Go. I think she has Pursuit now as well. I'm not sure about that, I have to check. Oh yeah, because I gave her the Pursuit ring. Money, 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 money. Not bad, all things considered. Yeah. So I'm not sure how many spaces she has left for uh, items. I think she's only got one space left. I'm not sure how many items you can actually be carrying at any one time. I think that's all of them? Ah, uh, probably. It's not really my... Well, anyway, I'll probably sell her staffs at some point because... Because reasons... Important super reasons. Oh yeah, and Deidre. Keep your circlet. But you won't be needing any weapons where you're going. Because she is actually pregnant now. I'll just, uh, just leave that to, uh, your imaginations to, uh, etc. Yeah. Anything else that he's doing before we... No? Okay, fine.
Oh, okay. There, they've decided to move all of a sudden. Okay, I think that's everything, and now we can move on. Yay! Oh, wait, before we go... Fairy has a talk with Sigurd, I forgot about that. He's a Silesian knight. Mm -hmm. Prince Lewin? Yep. Special powers, a descendant of Seti. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't that the question? Wait, I thought you didn't know, Fairy. Why would you... Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. No problem. Of course not. Oh, I think she... Yeah, she completed the arena. Which is worth mentioning, I guess. Seize that. Oh yeah, and because we kept these guys alive... We get the Night Ring! He's receiving medical attention by a priest. Who was it? It's Eldigan! Hooray! You're not hurt! Hooray! Okay, now they're going to have a small disagreement. Yeah. Yeah. Why exactly have you done that, Sigurd? <laughs> yeah, give me a year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you probably could, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. Best friends, these two. So yeah, that's basically Eldegan's, uh, slightly awkward character trait. That is to say, uh, he simply cannot, um, cannot overlook his fealty to, uh, his king and his country no matter what. There is literally no other option for him but to do exactly what he's told, which is kind of depressing. Oh yeah, Shigal moves his royal court not to- oh. Bugger, I skipped that. Just give me a second. As I was saying before I accidentally did that, uh -huh, Royal moved Royal Court North to Medino. Keeping his word with Eldegan, Sigurd did not pursue him. While the troops rested at Augusti Castle, Sigurd worked to fulfil his promise to Eldegan. He persisted in negotiations aimed to return administrative control back to Augusti. However, the directive from Belhalla to maintain a presence and govern the people never changed, which is kind of annoying. In half a year's time, the official dispatch to Grustria became exceedingly reckless, began to abuse the power they were entrusted with. Isn't... well, I can't say I'm surprised. Discontent of the Augustrian people slowly began to take root. A new conflict arose, giving Sigurd great cause for concern. Chagall had been arranging a military force at Medino poised to challenge Sigurd in an attempt to regain control of the capital at Augusti. Meanwhile, the notorious Orga Hill Pirates, the notorious, entirely generic Orga Hill Pirates, positioned themselves to take advantage of the ensuing chaos. <laughs> etc. Sigurd had strict orders from Belhalla to hold Augusti Castle at any cost. Any, do you hear me? Any. The ensuing conflict weighed heavily on Sigurd's heart. Mm -hmm. Also, Eldegan had troops stationed at Silvale Fort. The battle on the horizon was gearing up to be a true test of one's friendship and loyalty. 
You'd think that those paladins would be good for something like telling Eldegon, no, actually, we were we were also killing the the Augustrian lords. Anyway, all of Sigurd's attention was now focused on the looming threat of the northern reaches of Augustria. Well, the, well, what happened to the lords of Silvale and Medino? Did they just sort of run away? Oh well. Anyway, chapter three. I believe this is called Eldgen Lionheart. Or the Lion King Eldgen. So there's Shigal's mighty military. Prepare to advance. This is our last chance. How do you, uh... How do you figure that? Okay, fine, whatever. Look at them making themselves at home in my country. Jacobin. Yeah, what was he doing last time? We need a man of your caliber to hold the castle. Small in your book, pies good. <laughs> I love this guy. Anyone gets in my face is getting my thunder sword, okay? That's the spirit. Eldigans in Silvail. <laughs> Etc. Silvail. Zip. Oh no. Now I'll have to postpone my return to the capital. I can't fight Sigurd, what to do? What are you going to do? And meanwhile at Auger Hill... Oh hey, it's someone who doesn't look generic. Mm. Yar, we be generic pirates like. Shiver me timbers and other generic pirates slang. Further taken, yar. Now it'll be a cinch. Yeah, that's that's a slightly dickish thing to do, isn't it? Don't pilfer. We are the pirates who don't do anything. Yeah. Because, yeah. Clearly these pirates... I don't know, where do they get their money from? Yar. <laughs> Captain's been too damn strict. I've got me a plan. Yar. I just haven't acted on it before now because, well... Look at me, I've got grey hair. Uh -huh. A wee little... ...ting. Okay. And raised her ear on this island. Yar. 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 Okay. I'm just skipping all dialogue and putting yar in instead. Okay. Augusty. Shigal has raised an army to siege us. No, besiege, not si- uh, God, never mind. That's ludicrous. We were just about to head home. Why attack us now? What in the world is going on? The Auger Hill pirates have begun to move. Prepare to attack. Yep, this time we can't bring Deidre. Oh, they've got a little baby boy. It's so cute, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Be back as soon as we can. Shannon, help me. Uh huh. You're the man. <sighs> sort of 14 year old boy thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Of course, it isn't forever. We're only going to go subdue an enemy nation. Once again, I love the music for this. Okay, so what have we got? We've got... Medino troops, lance armors, uh, javelins, that's okay. They've got less defense than the last lot, I think. Well, the, there's a captain. He'll be slightly... Oh, silver lance. Hmm, blimey. Okay, what else have we got? Some silver knights. Pirates. They'll be going for those villages, I assume. Medino fire mages and a captain with elf fire. Ooh, I don't like that. Jacoban, he drops a thunder sword and he's got quite good stuff. Oh, blimey! Look at that. Shame about his magic. It's it's not great. But uh, oh, what's this? Okay, an iron ballista, slightly more powerful than the scrub ballistas. Okay, um, pirate, pirate, captain with a steel bow, okay, ordinary bow knights, they're kind of, they've also got steel bows, okay, that's, that's slightly worrying, 
Another captain. No, steel blade, steel bow. Alright, uh. More fire. I don't think they'll move. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure we can get to these villagers, rescue them. That village too needs rescuing. How far will this pirate move? Uh, yeah, they'll be moving about one space a turn. Get to these villages, save them, that village, that village. Basically got to send people out there to... While at the same time... Stopping these idiots... From storming the castle. Alright. So, as a reminder... We now have Ruckasis. Bestows Canto. It's kind of neat. Thing is, it would be a waste of gold if I were to sell it now, so I'll probably get her to buy something and then sell it. Because, let's face it, she can use a few more. A few more spaces, can't she? Jamuka. Loves Ideen. Let's see, what else have we got? Anyone got talks, I wonder? Oh, he's got a talk with Ira. He's got a talk with Ira. Okay. Right, let's, uh, I'll just, let's just see what the arena looks like. Okay, he's, that's fine. Wait a minute. Be a waste of money, wouldn't it? Well, that's f fine, why not? It's not like so good need money anyway. Okay, so this is Taylor. He's a cavalier with a steel sword. Okay. Oh, come on, Sigurd. Put some effort into it. This does not bode well. Okay. Level 2. Axe Knight. That's better. Steel Axe. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Next opponent. Yep. Level 3. Ah, oh, the Myrmidon is level 3 this time. Jesus, Sigurd. Put some effort in. I think he's got a steel blade then. Okay. Yes, I would. Level 4. Bazan, a lance armor with a steel lance. Ow. Oh, for God's sake, Sigurd! What is wrong with you? Ha! For pity's sake, man. Ah, oh, you... You're breaking my heart, Sigurd. I think I'll just show you what... how the, uh... I'll just show you all of the arena people and then... Oh, fracking hell. Hit him. Hit him. Dodge. Well, that happened. Yes, they do, mate. Yes, they do. Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to, uh... win that battle anyway. Uh, it's not like I'd have got any gold from it. So yeah, um... <sighs> well, you get the general idea. I, I might go through it again with someone else later, but for now that's fine. Okay, see you later.